Well, hello everybody, and welcome back to my channel. I'm finally doing my rapping video. It's GIF rapping, not like rapping, rapping, like music rapping. So, this is a gift for Gavin, and um, I reuse some of my boxes. So, this is an Aaron Condren box. Um, he is, I think, 12, 13, something like that. So he doesn't want anything from Aaron Condren, so, but that's all right. I have some stuff in here for him. I have a Nike hoodie sweatshirt and then also some Nike sweatpants and I thought he would like them. I also have the gift receipts in here too, but I am gonna actually put in some tissue paper, wrap with some things. Um, this is from the Hearth and Hand for Target, the Magnolia. Uh, it's like Joanna Gaines and Chip Gaines line. This is gonna be the ribbon I'm gonna use. I also got these little guys. It just says, make it Christmas, and it's like these little like wooden trunks with some gold snowflakes on them. I got these at Hobby Lobby. And then, to be completely honest, I don't remember where I got this. This is just like a gold glitter paper. Um, I I wanted to do like a solid for him because he really likes solids. He doesn't. He's not a huge fan of prints. I mean, this is a little bit of a print, but it's not too bad. So I thought that would be good. But yeah, so that's what I'm gonna use. Also, I have some customized gift labels, which I'm trying to pull out here. Here we go. All right, I got these for Gavin, and these are actually um, custom gift labels from erincondren.com. I will leave a link below for you guys. It is an affiliate link, like it says below. Um, but I got these, they're like the little bow tie ones, and it says a gift for, and then I put Gavin. So I got one set for him, and I can't remember how much these are or how many come in the pack, but um, I will show you how I use this as well. Let's put the tissue paper in there. And um, if you guys have questions about the tissue paper, I don't know where I got it. Um, I got it probably a couple of years back. I don't remember where that, where it came from. So, sorry. So I like to kind of make it even, you know, like give it a little, little, little tuck there. I think I might have gotten this tissue paper actually now that I think about it. Might have gotten it at like Walgreens or something. Um, I don't. I don't really know. So yeah, I mean, I know it's not even, but he's not gonna care. And then I also like to do this, like, kind of just put a little piece of tape in there. All right. So now I will take the gift receipts. Put, just tuck them in there and then I'll take his pants put those on the bottom because those are not as exciting oh actually I'm gonna do it the other way hold on put the pants on the bottom like this because I want to put the hood portion of it right here all right so now that is all good This is all good. Perfect. And then you could use a label or you could use something. I'm just gonna use a piece of tape with this one. Um, I mean, I guess, let's get fancy. Why not? It's a video, let's get fancy. Sorry, I'm like super shadowy, but I have to do this on my kitchen counter. So let's do it like this, cause he's gonna open it like this because he's actually gonna open the box, probably like that. So anyway, now you close up the box. This box was mailed to me and people on the internet are creepy, so I covered up my address. And then I'm just gonna use a little piece of tape and tape this bad boy down. All right, well let's get to the fun part, which is actually wrapping the gift. So, obviously you wanna start with your wrapping paper. Like I said, I can't remember where this was from, but this says, heavyweight gift wrap, glitter paper. It was $5, I don't know. It doesn't have like a, a brand name on it. If it did, I would share with you guys, but I, I honestly don't know. I've been to so many places to look for gift wrapping. Um, I've been to Target, I've been to Hobby Lobby. 
I think I've gotten some stuff at Michael's. Like, I can't keep them all straight. But this one tells me it has gift wrap um, grid lines, which is like my favorite thing. So what I like to do is I won't be able to, you know, flip it this way. So I have to do it kind of in the center I mean, I can kind of do whatever I want. So I just take the little flap, make sure it's going to cover this side and then I'll go around one more time and kind of eyeball it and then cut off what I need because we don't need the roll attached. Sorry, you can't really see me, but I'm over, I'm over here. <laughs> I just need to cut this down. All right, cut that bad boy down. And then I'm gonna move you guys this way. I'm actually gonna take my little stickies off because he knows where I live and that's okay with me. All right. So I'm gonna start at the corner here. Make sure that this, oops, <laughs> make sure that this little flap uh, covers as much as I need it to, which I need to go up one more because I just want to make sure that it just I can go over it just slightly. And I'm gonna crease as much as I can right there and pull it taut and put a little piece of tape because that's gonna kind of like hold everything. All right, and then pull this all the way over. And then again, pull it taut like that. A lot of times I like to, especially when they're shipping boxes, like if there are regular boxes that you purchase, a lot of times those are pretty even, but shipping boxes are kind of a, a little bit more of a pain, but I like to kind of smooth it out as much as I can. And then I make another crease like this, and then I pinch the corner make another crease, pinch the corner. And then, this is so difficult to get into frame sometimes. <laughs> um, all right, so I have my little corners uh, that I've creased right here. And then I just like to kind of roll it down slightly and then press it. And that's gonna give me my crispy crease at the very edge. Whoops. All right, here we go. And then you're gonna pull it taut again. And it's gonna look like there's no seams, like it's a seamless package, even though it's actually not a seamless package. And then I like to use my tape and go vertical because the ribbon is actually gonna um, end up covering this up. So now I got this big tail left on the end of this side. So I'm gonna cut this down real quick, make life easier. And there's no real rhyme or reason. I'm just cutting it down so I don't have to deal with it. Okay. I just don't want all this excess hanging out in my package. All right, so then I start to do the edges, which by the way, the edges are like my favorite part. Is that weird? Of the actual wrapping part of it. Um, so anyway, let me, well, let me do one side and then I'll show you, like I'll tip it upwards. And so I always do a crispy edge. I like a crisp edge. And um, then I tape it to the box and then I always do the one side and then crisp it up. Oops. Do the same thing right there on the bottom, crisp it down. I don't know why I keep saying crispy, but that's what it kind of like reminds me of is just like a crisp tight edge. And that's how I've always um, done my packages for many, many years. And then when I get to this point, when I have a little bit of a flap, I just turn it in, just, you know, uh, there's no rhyme or reason. I just want to make sure that it looks good on both sides. Sorry, had to adjust some things there. <laughs> All right, and then I just put this here. All right, so let's do the other side and then I will actually flip you guys up. So, when I am here, there we go. Oh, this is so difficult to do this way. <laughs> All right, 
as I pull it down, again, crease the edge, crease the edge, crease the edge. And then when I'm like that, then I take a little piece of tape and just adhere it to the box right there. And I don't know why, but I always tend to do this side first and this side that has like the little flap right here. I always do this one second because I feel like if there's like bubbles or something, you can get those out. I don't know why I feel like you can do that, but maybe that's just, you know, my weird Emily brain thinking that it's okay. I don't know. Like right now, there's like a little bit of a bubble. Let's, let's get that out. There we go. So I was able to like kind of fold it and get that out. Like I said, sometimes with like shipping boxes that have already been used or just shipping boxes in general, they're not always like the easiest to work with. So I always, I wanted to do like a more difficult package for you guys. Um, anyway, and then you just turn it in and then, then I just go like this. And there you are. Um, if I have something that's really flat, like I actually have like a desktop calendar I need to wrap, I will actually put it over the edge because it's so incredibly thin, but this is obviously like a regular um, package. So then after that, then I go around and I crease all of the top edges because not all of those were creased in the process. Um, so yeah, I think it just looks really, really nice. What do you guys think so far? Hope you like it. All right, and then I will take my ribbon. Um, it can be anything. It doesn't obviously need to be like the fancy like hearth and hand one, but I will take, ooh, this actually has a little bit of a, a wire in there, cool. And then I will take this little um, tie on as well, but um, I don't have to worry about this ribbon because it's the same on both sides. Every once in a while, I'll get a ribbon that's a little bit more difficult to work with just because it only has a print on one side and not the other, so you have to be a little bit more careful. So if you do have a print on your box, I always start with it upside down. This one doesn't obviously have a print, so I'm fine, but um, I start with it upside down and you'll notice why in just a moment. I do my ribbon in a very different way. A long, long time ago, I used to work at a store called Pottery Barn, and this is how they do their ribbon, and they actually don't they have like a bumpless ribbon, which means on the bottom of it, there's no turn. The turn is actually on the top, and I'll show you what that means in a moment. So you just wanna take your ribbon and figure out how big you want one side of your bow to be, and then you start wherever that is. So you just leave the tail out, and then you just start wrapping, and I'm just gonna wrap around. I'm sorry, it's so hard to do this on camera. <laughs> But you guys asked for the video, so we're just gonna go with it. All right, and just make sure it's smooth underneath. There we go. All right, so my finger was right about here, and then we can twist. And it doesn't matter if it's not center right now, it, we can adjust the ribbon in just a little bit. So all you wanna do is just do a 90 degree turn and twist. And then just make sure that your ribbon is as flat as you can get it right here. And then we're gonna go underneath again. There we go. All right, and now, even though it's all twisty-turvy right here, really doesn't matter because I'm just gonna cut right about here and um, flatten everything out. All right, so there we go. So, here we go. Doo -doo -doo. <laughs> okay, so then I'm gonna go underneath like this and then I'm gonna go over 
like that. And then I'm gonna turn it this way. So I'm basically upside down from when I started, which is why I do it upside down if I do have a print. Like I said, I don't have a print on this one, so I'm good to go. So now where the bump would be that would normally be on the bottom, it's actually at the top. So then I always take this tail first, the one that's on the right hand side of me, and then, you know, make it into my bow. And then with this one, I always go up, like I go over and up, if that makes sense. Um, because if you go under, it won't have like a nice center to the actual bow. And then since I don't have to worry about the print being on the other side, I can just kind of loop it right through and then I am good to go. Since this has actually a little bit of wire in it, it's actually gonna make it really, really easy to um, kind of adjust the bow a little bit. I am also a person that doesn't like a long tail. So, and I don't do like a snip, snip tail. I just do like a angled tail and I'm done. I don't like a long tail on my packages. And then with this one, I always feel like I'm doing it a little bit too long, but it ends up looking better in the end. I don't know why, but yeah, like I would have put it up here and then it would look super wonky. So I don't know. But yeah, that's how I do a package. And then you can always adjust it back into the center if you want. Obviously you can do off center bows as well if you would like, but you can always kind of adjust that up. And then with this one, I'm gonna do something a little bit different. I'm sorry, it's like so off camera, you guys. Um, I'm actually gonna adjust this one up just slightly because I, oh, you know what? Totally forgot to put that little tie-on thing in there. Oops. All right, I'm gonna do that in just a moment here. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I just clipped it, <laughs> clipped the little thing right here, and um, I'm gonna tie this right around. All right, now it looks all wonky, but that's okay. See, looking cute, right? All right, so again, still trying to kind of adjust it up slightly. So there we go. And then I'm gonna use one of these little guys and put it right in the center to kind of hold the bow in the right spot. I could actually put it up at the top here, but I think it would look better down here. So I'm going to put this down here. And that is how I do a package. Kind of exciting, right? I hope it's exciting for you guys. You guys have been asking for this for a while. Also, um, I have some other things to show you if I have time. Yes, I have a little bit of time here. Um, I also have some ideas for gift cards and things like that. This is actually a little pouch for Gavin. Um, I don't have his gift card in here yet, but it's actually right here. So I'm gonna put this in here. And this is this little pouch thing is actually from Old Navy. I found it in the women's section, but I think it's like actually a, um, oh, I think I have to take this thing off. Um, I think it's like a business card holder, but I thought it'd be really, really cute for the holidays. There we go. All right, so his is gonna be right in here. And I'm just gonna tuck that right on the side there. I just thought that would be really cute. Um, I also have another uh, gold one, but it's kind of a different colored gold metallic. 
I also have these that I haven't used yet, but I will be using for some other gift cards. These I got at Paper Source, and this silver one says Treat Yourself, this one says Retail Therapy and Rainy Day Fund, and these have a little bit of a zipper, very, very cute. These were $12.95 a piece. These were a little bit more expensive than the ones you can find at Old Navy, but they still do the job and still would look cute either in a stocking or under the tree. Um, so yeah, but they just open like this and they're like soft on the inside and you can just put a little gift card or some cash or whatever you wanna give um, that's kinda cute. So you could always, if you weren't putting it with a gift, you could always tie a little bow or something around it too just to make it a little bit more festive. So anyway, that is gonna be it for my gift wrapping video for 2017. Hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any questions, feel free to post them down below and I will get back to you. Um, sorry if this video was kinda janky. It's kind of hard to film this and my tripod only goes up so far. So um, you're actually sitting on multiple chairs right now as the tripod. So I could get it up high enough for me to like show such a big area aerial view. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Feel free to like this video, give it a thumbs up if you want to. Also, feel free to subscribe and um, I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye!